हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल पीसी जो किम्बरलाइट और सोर्स ऑफ डायमंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम स्टडीग्राफी प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ स्टडीग्राफी आई एम डॉक्टर साजिद नोंडेकर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जियोलॉजी ए के आई स्पोना कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट साइंस कॉमर्स कैम्प पुणे महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इट इज अफिलेटेड टू सावित्री बाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी दैट इज एस पी पी यू पुणे and formerly it is known as university of pune principles of stratigraphy so first we'll see about the definition what is a stratigraphy the strati and graphy so strati means layer strata and graphy means the parameter when you are going to study these rocks with the different parameters with the help of that is the stratigraphy that is when you are going to study the rock vertical succession horizontal succession in sequence in the fossil content then that will be we generally call that this particular topic will be a stratigraphy so simply what we are going to make study of layered rock and that term that is stratum that is the layer we have shown the graphy means description but that description will be making with the different parameters vertical succession horizontal succession sequence correlation fossil content that all will be going to make out that particular a branch when earth has been separated from the solar system the age we have been dating now is 4.6 billion years and now the oldest rock which are found on the surface of the earth is 3.8 billion and that is the sedimentary rock conglomerate is there and now from that 3.8 billion years to the present so that particular rocks whatever the uh, uh, the earth which is there as a like a fire ball a fire ball is there now slowly cool down going to give you the early uh, minerals are formed minerals come together rocks are formed and so from these rocks which are the igneous one they have gone number of times the uh metamorphism the, there will be continuous polymetamorphism has been taken place so whatever the geological history which has been taken place from 3.8 billion to the present these have been all are been stored into the stratified rock uh, with the time that is very important so that's why this is called as a uh, backbone of the uh, geology so stratigraphy do, do not restrict itself or descriptive study of sedimentary rock here we have all types of rock igneous sedimentary metamorphic rock but all include their formation distribution age correlation and there is a correlation with the other uh, parts of the continents rock will be there with the ages with the fossil content so many then you purely jo graphy paleo climatic condition we can reconstruct it can be considered as a repository of the past geological record so now as usual the stratigraphy covers a vast spectrum of the earth's geological history that is 3.8 billion to the present and has therefore been dealt with the various branches in geology it is interlinked so that is a backbone and the rest of the branches will be go on connecting to this particular branch so earlier stratigraphy was defined by geologists on the basis of their own field of specialty everyone has the geologists are there who has own interest whether it may be a paleontologist or whether it may be a economist or mineralogist petrologist the first one for example paleontologist he will be going to define the stratigraphy with reference to the branch is deal with the occurrence distribution chronology and age of rock based on the fossil content so he will be going to make out his own vision and he is going to see that particular part of the with the help of the rock which are exposed occurrence distribution chronology and age of the rock as based on the fossil present in these wow. rock then the next one paleogeographer so those past paleogeographers are there they define the stratigraphy as a science we have to study the geography the past geography of the earth which has taken place in the past whether what will be in the cenozoic mesozoic paleozoic or in each particular era what we are going to a uh, geochemist or a geophysicist define the stratigraphy a manner in which it reflect geochemical or geophysical evolution of the earth so the geochemist will be see how that particular geochemical variation has been taken place or evolved the geophysical evolution which has been done by the uh, rocks within that particular uh, 3.8 to present span that will be studied by the geophysicist and that he will define the stratigraphy in a manner which reflect the geo 
physical or geochemical, geochemical evolution of the earth. Then permanence loss. Consider stratigraphy as an integrated discipline which combines the data from all the other branches of the earth sciences so that a defined order of historical geology emerges. So he will be going to make out order of historical geology that emerges. Then Carl Dunbar defines stratigraphy on its restricted sense that he has divided the branches of stratigraphy into three stages. Descriptive of stratigraphic rocks, their correlation and determination of their mutual time relation. On the basis of that, Carl Dunbar has defined the stratigraphy. According to Weller, stratigraphy is a branch of geology which deals with the study of uh, study and interpretation of stratified and sedimentary rocks, their distribution, description, sequence, both vertical and horizontal mapping, correlation of stratigraphic rock units. That is the definition which has been given by the Weller. Taken into account of all these definitions, it is clear that the study of stratigraphy involves the information gathered from several branches of geology. This information thus arranged in a such a way that systematic historical act, uh, account of the earth has been presented. So, stratigraphy will give the, all the whatever the evidences which have taken place in the past, that will be a systematically historical record will be maintained in that particular rock and that branch will be uh, going to give the uh, highlight or, or the focus will be given. The stratigraphy is linked with all the branches of geology and also the most of the other sciences. So this is a basic science. Thus, any geological process which was operative in the geological past or is in the operation today is well in the scope of the stratigraphy. This is the best illustrated by the changing pattern of land and sea, fluctuating climates and also the evolution of the life on the earth. So whatever the present is the key to the past, that is the key which has been given on the basis of that we are going to see whatever the changing patterns of the earth and the land and sea which are there fluctuating climate so we are going to make out that particular thing which is in the past so how the life has been evolved climates have been evolved how the land and sea has changed their patterns so stratigraphy is thus basis of understanding geological history both locally as well as global scale and it is based upon the knowledge of the petrology, the sedimentary rocks are there, igneous, metamorphic, and the principles of sedimentation. Geologists over the years have recorded their observation with regard to the stratified rock on the earth surface. However, it, it was only the 17th century that the time factor was considered to be the important aspect in the unfolding the earth. Based upon the rational scientific data, it was proved that the stratified rocks are developed over a period of of millions of years, initially the super, superposition of strata was noted and it was realized that after the deposition of particular layer or a bed, there was a time lapse or interval of time before the next bed was deposited and that we will be called as the unconformities. This time gap is uh, in deposition which is important factor for noted, was noted and the entire stratigraphy thus divided on the three important principles. And these three principles of the stratigraphy are first uniformatism, order of superposition, ponent succession or paleontological correlation. So we will see one by one about these particular principles so, and these are very very important and this will be asked in the, your examination and those who are preparing for community examinations or uh, get exam or those who are giving the exam for the entrance exam for the uh, MSc, for them this will be useful. The basic, this is the basic uh, topics are there from the stratigraphy. Uniformatism, the idea of uniformatism was presented by the Scottish naturalist, uh, naturalist James Hutton. So remember, it is the James Hutton, it is a Scottish one and he has of course uh, given the idea of uniformatism. The principle states that the geological processes which has acted on the geological past were essentially the same as those which are uh, in operation today. So present is the key to the past. This is a, a well summarized statement has been given by the James Hutton and this is the important key to uh, see the what the evolution which has taken place in the past. So many things which will be done 
and uh, today as we get the sea sedimentary layering variation in the grain size of the sediments along with the river bank is due to the fluctuation in the velocity of the river similar structures structures are also seen in the sedimentary rock where form in the geological past according to the principle of uniformatism these rock structures textures are resulted from the similar processes sedimentary features like ripple mark graded bedding across bedding are all, all a result of transport uh, transport of matter as it occurs even today and also the effect of geological processes there may be one or there may be second process now order of superposition yes whatever the bed which is deposited first it will be oldest one as newer newer material will be deposited so as you come upper side it is younger but from the surface if we go down from oldest to the uh, from the youngest we are going towards the downward side so this is what we have the order of superposition this is another important principle put forward by danish physician sir steno in 1669 remember the order of superposition has been given by sir steno he pointed out out that in undisturbed sedimentary sequence the order in which the layers are laid down is starting from the bottom and continues to the top so deposition will taken place in any uh, basin will be at the from the bottom and as you come on the top this youngest will be deposited on that this means that the bottom layer are the older this means that the bottom layers are older than the layers above and it is also applicable to the deposits within a single layer such layers which are known as lamellae and are indicative of the relative age of the rock even if they are developed in different parts uh, of the same region however when the stratigraphic rocks are folded both over thrusted or faulted it has been necessary to determine whether the rocks are in original position or whether they has been over thrust or under thrust or might be they have gone under the erosion denudation then to make the systematic order of superposition we have to take the order of superposition the deep and strike we have to take and with the help of that we can find out which is the older one and which will be the younger one this can be determined nothing the sedimentary structures in the rock such as cross bedding wherever we are going to get the cross bedding the directions which are of the cross they are going to give the uh, indication of the direction ripple mass or ripple mass that will be uh, the whichever the surface shows the ripple one that is the younger one and opposite side is the oldest one so that will be the part from the principle of water superposition the following two conclusions have been drawn the igneous rock are younger than the rock into they intrude that is the principle of cross cutting relationship a fault is younger than the form formation it cuts the third last one principle of faunal succession or it is called as paleontological correlation a british surveyor william smith remember the third faunal succession has been given by british surveyor william smith who is known as the father of modern stratigraphy and was the first to realize fossil can be used to correlate the strata in which they have been found during the course of his work he realized that same group of fossil always occurred in the same rock layer this similarity in the fossil also indicate that similarity in age fossil species in the layer below and above certain bed were distinctly different from those in that bed also fossil occur in the same order of rock in widely spreaded areas these observation by william smith led to establishment of principle of faunal succession he explained the varied fossil assemblages associated with the different sedimentary formation are result into the organic evolution so that's uh, give you a very long concept very big one and this is a important tool does the primitive fossil occur in the older rock whereas the fossil of more revolved or organisms are going to found in the younger formations so hope with this we have been completed the the small topic from the stratigraphy that is the principles of stratigraphy and this is a very very important topic and you have to be prepared uh, for your uh, uh, theory and uh, that's will be giving you the importance with this i think we will have the continuous uh, series of videos 
on the stratigraphy. If you have any doubts, you can uh, write down in the comment section. I will try to make a clear your doubts. Thank you. Have a nice day.